Hey guys! Now I've seen a lot of controversy over this issue and there was even a massive petition to prevent this from happening. So what the hell happened? Valve has announced that they would start allowing modders to sell their own mods. Overnight, they just decided to remove this feature. So why did this happen and why are so many people worried about it? Well, first off, do you know what a mod is? Mods are modifications created by the players which aim to improve a certain game, sometimes fixing bugs, changing stuff around or even overhauling the entire game. Some mods were extremely successful, sometimes even more successful than the game itself and sometimes even creating a new genre altogether. For instance, League of Legends wouldn't even exist if it wasn't for a mod called Dota. Recently Valve intended to sell mods through Steam giving a share of the price to the modder and a larger share to the game developer uh, while they kept a moderate fee for distribution costs. So how does that affect us players and why is it such a big issue? Well on one side this would allow for more quality mods to be available as people would start earning money out of making mods. At the same time, this would force the whole industry into an innovative and creative route that would lead to new game mechanics that, uh, in my personal opinion, make the games much more interesting uh, and would ultimately lead to better games. This would also be a huge deal for Steam, as they would not only earn money for selling mods, but it would most likely bring some console players over to the dark side where, let's be honest, Steam kind of rules Supreme as the massive aggregator of players. So, what is there to be feared? First off, most mothers will surely ask for money for their mods, and this means that free mods would become a lot rarer. Also, the mod community is like a Pandora's box. Everyone does all sorts of things and mixes stuff from different authors, and how can you credit someone for making a Star Wars mod for Prison Architect and not credit the guys who created Star Wars in the first place? Then you have the issue of updates. Some mods do take a long time before they are updated and they become incompatible with the base game or other mods. So game updates would be more and more complex because they had to take into consideration all the additional mods that they would affect. Then you would most likely see official mods being developed by the game company instead of new groundbreaking DLCs that sometimes open up their game engines for further modability. In order to keep up with the updates I'm guessing that you would eventually start seeing monthly subscription based mods as you see already happening in some servers uh, of Altis Life, that's the Arma 3 mod. And I think that that is just not a good thing. So. Overall, do you think this is a good or a bad thing? I have no idea. There are a couple of rainbows and unicorns, but a massive orc hides behind the door. It is a Pandora's box waiting to be opened. And all in all, this was too much of a big step and that is why they decided to leave the box alone. For now. So I hope this was informative and hurt your brain somehow. So if you've got a thought or an opinion, please do drop a comment below. And also, join me in my Twitch live sessions and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you guys!